Right now at 5.30, a cancer concern after several cancer cases surface in New Jersey. Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. And I'm Dick Brennan. A resident in Woodbridge Township is calling for environmental action after he says he discovered several people who went to one school all had rare brain tumors. CBS 2's Mick Baker spoke to him as he continues to look for answers. I started doing some research and the three became five, the five became seven, the seven became 15. Al Lupiano, an environmental scientist and former resident of Woodbridge Township, says he has confirmed 65 cases of people with rare brain tumors. The common denominator, they were all Colonia High School graduates or had worked there. Lupiano was diagnosed 20 years ago and still suffers lingering issues. He started researching a connection when other family members were diagnosed with the same extremely rare tumor on the left side of the brain. Fast forward to August of last year, my sister received the news that she had a primary brain tumor herself. It unfortunately turned out to be stage four glioblastoma. Two hours later, we received information that my wife also had a primary brain tumor. After his sister sadly passed away less than a month ago, he posted on Facebook calling on all Colonia High School alumni, asking if others had brain tumors, and the response was shocking. There's truly only one environmental link to primary brain tumors, and that's ionizing radiation. It's not contaminated water, it's not air, it's not something in the soil, it's not something that's done to us due to bad habits. The school was built in 1967. Lupiano is working with local officials. It was virgin land, it was woods. Um, yeah. but high school is the first thing to be there, so there was probably nothing in the ground at that time. The only thing that could have happened potentially is fill brought in during the construction, but we have no records 55 years ago. The mayor has reached out to the state health department, Department of Environmental Protection, and the Federal Agency for Toxic Substance and Disease Registry. We're looking at possible things that we can do between the town and the school, mm -hmm. and they said they will look at anything we come up with. The superintendent of schools says he is waiting to hear what the next steps should be from the environmental agencies. I'm a lifelong resident here. I raised my family here, so the, the health and safety of our students is of a paramount importance to me. The superintendent says he plans to send out a note to the school community about where things stand regarding the unofficial research. In the Colonia section of Woodbridge Township, Meg Baker, CBS 2 News.